بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله على نعمته التي أنعمنا بها فنسأل الله مدر الصلاة والسلام على حبيبه محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يا ذا الجلال والإكرام فنسألك دوما من الصلاة والسلام على حبيبك الذي تحبه حبا محدا فهو محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فنسألك صلاة بلا انقلاء ولا نفر فيكون عليه صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وبارك سيدنا محمد وآل محمد يا إلهنا فصل وسلم عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما Our topic for today should be as for yesterday Though there are, some, uh, there are some additional that we're supposed to add on what we talked yesterday. But uh, before we start, let us pray to Almighty God to commit Salat on His blog, Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I think we should say we pray the cloud of Salat, of salat to be on Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I mean the shower of beautiful rain of Salat to be on Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ya ilahana. We pray, we plead you, to say, we plead on you to make everlasting salat on our Muhammad Rasulullah non-stop. Bikawlik, inda Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. For sake of what you have said, inda Allah indeed, Almighty God and his angels make salat on his beloved prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ya ilahana. Ya Adhul Jalal wal Ikram, decorate our heart with His love. Ya Ilahana, put His love in our mind. Make the circulations of our blood to be in His love. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The role He does today, yesterday, and what He will do, what He will do tomorrow, we don't have our mouth to say anything. We extended our gratitude to Rasulullah as we can do it. Just let us be praying, to Almighty God, to make a blessing to Him. Though I heard what Allah, what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said in Surah Al Buha, "Wala sawpa yuqdi ka Rabbu ka fatarda, wala sawpa yuqdi ka Rabbu ka fatarda." In polite way, and then He said, "Inna aadaina ka." He despised. I have already gave you. What did he give Muhammad Rasulullah? What did, what did he give Rasulullah? He gave him everything. Anything. Beyond expectation. Beyond your, your memory. Your brain cannot reach what Almighty God gave Rasulullah. He gave him Maqam al Mahamud. He gave him Luwa al Hamd. He granted him Shafa'a. He's a key of paradise. The main essence of Resurrection's Day. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I can remember wala sawpa yu wudika rabbuka fatarada. What will he give Rasulullah? Though Ali Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam are proud of this verse. They were saying that Sid Almighty God said, I'll give you unless you are satisfied and say it's okay. So we are granted. We don't have any fear for that very day, even here in the world. Though Almighty God say, Inna ma yuridu Allahu liyudhiba ankum urrijisa ahal al-bayt wa yudahirakum tadahir. Almighty God has already wiped any disease from them. Despite that, when they when they see this when they saw this verse, wala sawpa yuqika rabbuka fatarda, saying, and now alhamdulillah, since Almighty God will give Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam everything and anything, if it is shafaa, yeah, it is shafaa. Makam al mahamud, yes, makam al mahamud. Shafaa al kubra wa al uzma, yes, it is. Leadership. Here in hereafter, yes, it is leadership from today to tomorrow, yes, it is. 
So, do you think if there any rank that Salah Salaman never possesses it? No. There's no any single rank. There's no any single rank that Salah Salaman may never been beyond. He passed any rank. You can think of it or you can imagine of it. Uh, yesterday we talked about Manna Allahu Alayna bi wujudina min ummati Muhammad Rasulullah. And today we're supposed to add a little bit because what Almighty said, Pa Aminu Billahi wa bi Rasuli. If you can remember, we talk about this thing. And I said, Wa adi Allah wa adi ur Rasula. Wa man yu ee ur Rasula pa kada da Allah. Rasula Rasul. If there are differences between Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Adam's messengers, and we had, he said, our Lord was saying, La nufarriku bayna ahad minuhum. La nufarriku bayna ahad minuhum. La nufarriku. We don't differentiate between messengers and prophets. How this is could be? Our Lord was saying, تلك الرسول فضلنا بعضهم على بعض منهم من كلم الله ورفع بعضهم درجات That is seniority And لا نفرق what does that mean لا نفرق بين أحد منهم in name الرسول الرسول النبي والنبي What this word mean النبي النبو النبو news النبو news أما يتساءلون عن النبي العظيم زوا أسكن ذمسان عن النبي العظيم about the greatest news أما عن النبي النبو هو النبي النبو نبي نبي إبادي نبي إبادي نارت to my servants عندي أنا الغفور الرحيم فيرلي أنا الغفور أنا أفوجيفا الرحيم مستماسف This is نبي الرسول أماسنجا from Almighty God الرسول أماسنجا the one that Almighty God sent him down to creations آه if we go back of what we we discussed yesterday, we can remember what we talk about Risala message. When Almighty God wanted to be worshipped, wanted creation to know his oneness, what did he do? He raised one of his creations within the creations and appointed him the, the real positions of Nuhua and Risala. He started to warn people. Converting them to understand who is Almighty God. Teaching them how to worship Almighty God. This is Risala. This is Nubuwa. We don't differentiate between this and the B and the B. But position, there's a big difference. That is, if we can take one of this Rasul, let us talk about Jesus and his salat. والسلام عليه ما أنا بي نسلة والسلام. Jesus has different miracles. There are many things that you can see. Look at him. We call him روح الله the Son of Almighty God. روح الله. فأرسلنا إليها روحنا فتمثل لها بشرا طويا. We have sent our soul to them, to her. Who was she? His mom, Mary, alayhi salam. Patamassalaha, Basharan, Sawiya. He blew the soul of Jesus in her. God, it is the Audhu bi Rahmani minka in Kuntatakiya. إني أعوذ بالرحمن منك إن كنت تكيا قال إنما أنا رسول ربك لي أحب لك غلاما زكيا When Sayyidah Mariam has seen him approaching her 
she was just advised. Why? Why? I seek a uh, protection from Almighty God against you. You could take here if you are an unjust. He said, No. I'm the, a messenger from God, from your Lord. Just to give you a beautiful son. How will I have a son without husband? That is how, what, what Almighty God wished. Whatsoever He wished, it must be. Exactly. Look at this thing. And uh, when he gave birth of Jesus, alayhi salatu was salam, he talked on the rapper, on the rapper. He carried him. Her people came, met her, wanted to argue with her, wanted to do anything bad to her. They were asking, how did you get this baby? We know you don't have husband. No, you are. Somehow, I cannot say. They ask her, and then he promised Almighty God she will not talk. In Nina Gatule Rahamani, Sauman, I promise I, I will not talk. I promise my Lord I will not talk. Fa Asharat Ilay, she pointed to Jesus. And I said, How can we talk to this, this small? Kate baby, small boy on his lap. He was there on rapper. How can we talk to him? And the small boy, small baby, Jesus. At that time, she shook his head and opened his eyes. He said, Inni Abdullah. I'm a servant of God. He revealed a book to me and appointed me as a prophet. He blessed me at anywhere I am. I am anywhere I am. So look at what happened with Jesus and his mom. This is Nabi Allah, Rasul Allah, and he has a title, Ruh Allah. So spoke the soul of God. Come back to the leader of leaders, master of masters. Who is that? The seal of prophecy, which there's not any issue of prophecy, talkless of message after him. Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What happened with him? And how his own happened? I can remember the hadith of Aba, uh, Abdullah ibn Abbas. He reported, he reported the narration of Sayyidah Amina before he gave birth of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That one doesn't have father or less mom. This real one and beautiful one, calm one and peaceful one has father and mom. The main essence of that Bushara or the coming of Gabriel to Maryam to Maryam is because Mary doesn't have a husband. That is why Gabriel came to her. In this point, there is no any point of coming Gabriel to Sayyida Amina because he has a father. Secondly, this one is Angel between angels and Nabu and Nabi Allah, who is bigger? And Nabi Allah. Why? Because Almighty God appointed Almighty God appointed Nabi Allah to come and walk for Allah. He sent him down to creations with any problems that he can come across, must must deliver the message of Almighty God to people. With any kind of problems will come across, must take it like that. And do exactly what Almighty God asked him to do. And that, uh, that angers, they are, all, they are always there 
wayafa aluna ma yafa ma yumarun wa la yasuna la wayafa aluna ma yumarun where their umma what did they do whom they combated into islam they are there not in the world the the class of examinations is world if you didn't come to this class i mean this world ah uh, you didn't see anything you don't have anything to say because you didn't come to the, you, didn't, you didn't enter the class of examination and test and this ambiyallah came here he said that sayda amina i mean the mom the real mother of our beloved one muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam i can remember after six months of his pregnancy i was sleeping just one beautiful long a little bit giant man come and kick me with his legs i opened my eyes and i saw him standing before me saying assalamu alayki ya ummu khayr al-alameen peace be upon you the mother of khayr al-alameen the best creation the best creation She said that you are going to deliver Muhammad Rasulullah. He will be. You are, you are going to deliver a baby. That baby will be baby boy. When you when you deliver him, name him Muhammad. And she said she he disappeared. Since that time, any moment, any month, any day, every day I used to see a new thing. just because Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said after nine months all their palaces of kufr will be to destroy them he stopped he stopped this magic people from stealing from his heavens and this genie they used to help this uh, magic people all about to go stop them This is what happened. Why? Because of Rasulullah sallallahu In Abdullah ibn Abbas hadith he said there's no any animals in 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 Arabian peninsula unless it talk on that very day they talk to each other saying Muhammad Rasulullah is coming. The time of coming of Muhammad Rasulullah is coming. In his hadith he said the many many birds they used to open their wings going round on heavens. talking to each other alhamdulillah alhamdulillah the time of coming of our proud has already come the time of coming of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam has arrived muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is coming is coming is coming see what is going on see what what was happening just because of advance of muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam how happy how delight how glad can we show Which kind of appreciation we, his ummah, can show to him? This before he came. Before he came. And she said that I was alone. I was alone in one room. Nobody with me. In one Monday. In one Monday. I was alone. Nobody with, nobody with me. I was in, alone in the room. I have seen one beautiful bird come. With a good, beautiful shop. He came towards me and wiped my heart. I became normal. No fear. Afraid. Terrified. No anything. I don't fear and I don't afraid of anything. I was there thinking of what is what was going on. I was thinking how I will let uh, I wish to meet Abu Abdul uh, uh, yeah, Abdul Mutalli. Abd al-Muttalib is far from me. Then I have seen three beautiful long girls coming into my room. I have seen them vividly with my naked eyes. I saw them. I was looking at them. Then I have seen like people, very beautiful men on the sky. Raw, going raw like this, with white dressing, very pure white, crystal white. I mean, very beautiful one. They are going, 
and, and even the sky has turned to green color. In their hand, there is one beautiful cattle. They come to me as they pour small water in cup, as they were directing me to take it. When I took it, when I took that water, I drank it, I feel something entering my body. And then I deliver the very beautiful baby boy. Remember his own and go and take your memory back to Jesus. How his own happy, happy, her happy. And he, she said, when I delivered Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, just I have seen or I, I saw one uh, white cloud coming down and covered all my room. And that cloud intervened between me and the baby. I had sounds, the echo of sound in that cloud. I had seen that, took him, go around to the world to know that Abu Qasim has already come. <laughs> took him into the ocean, let the creation in ocean rivers to understand and know Sayyidina Rasulullah came. We name him Mahi. Mahi cleaner, Mahi wiper, the one that would come and eradicate any tragedy out of the world. He came, let them know him. She said, I was in that beautiful cloud, white cloud. Then the beautiful cloud went. I have seen Muhammad Rasulullah was wrapped, was being wrapped in white clothes or towels there are when greens layer down i look at him immediately i put my sight on him i have seen him prostrated sujut and wagging his finger i look at his mouth his speech saying something to what almighty god he lays his Two bold eyes up. Oh, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What did that Jesus alayhi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say? Inni abdullahi atani al kitaba wa ja'alani nabiya. He is telling people that he is not a bastard. He is prophet. He came with a book and been appointed as a prophet. What Salah Salama said, this be glorifying Almighty God. Can you compare? About the one that justifying himself 